In this section, I will be discussing intelligent agents. But before I speak further on the subject, we, will, we should define what an agent is. After a quick breakdown of some examples of the term agent, we will discuss the term intelligent agents and how it relates to artificial intelligence. So what is an agent? By an artificial intelligence definition, an agent is anything that can be viewed as perceiving its environment through sensors and acting upon that environment through actuators. But what does that mean? Simply, an agent is anything that views or perceives anything around it and makes a decision based on what it views or perceives. An agent uses various sensors to view an environment and uses actuators to act upon an environment. An actuator are motors. That's just it, just a motor. Whatever the agent motor function is, that's what the agent uses to act upon its environment. So here comes two examples of that. Humans are agents. A human agent has eyes, ears, and other organs for sensors and hands, legs as actuators. A robotic agent may have cameras and infrareds for, se for sensors and various motors that you could create for actuators. Software is also considered an agent. A software agent receives keystrokes, file contents, and network packets as sensory inputs and acts on that environment by displaying contents on a screen, writing files, and sending network packets. An agent runs in cycles. First, it perceives an environment. Second, it thinks about the environment. And third and last, it acts on that environment. An agent's behavior is described by an agent's function that maps any given percept sequence to an action. Percepts refer to agent's perceptual inputs at any given instant. And an agent's percept sequence is the complete history of everything the agent has ever perceived. In terms of a human, the percept sequence is stored in a, human, in a memory somewhere in the brain. On a software system, we may set up a database to save the percept sequence to refer to whenever we get a new perceptual input. So an agent's be behavior is described by an agent's function that maps any given percept sequence to an action. The map would be stored in a tabular way. Let's look at a small example of a robot vacuum to discuss that further. We can make up a simple, fictitious world or environment that are only made up of two spaces, A and B. You can think of these as tiles. One tile is A and the other is B, and they are spread out in this world randomly. Our vacuum agent perceives which tile it is in and whether there is dirt in that tile. It can choose to move left, move right, suck up the dirt, or do nothing. A very simple agent function could be if the current square is dirty, then suck up the dirt. Otherwise, move to the other tile or square. So if a tile A is dirty, the vacuum will suck up the dirt, then move on. If tile B is clean, the vacuum cleaner will simply move on and so on and so on. The vacuum cleaner is perceiving its environment through its sensors, thinking or determining if a tile is clean or not, making a decision and using its, using its suction as an actuator to act upon that environment by sucking up the dirt. That's what an agent is.